Hi folks, let me show you my rig. This is the Z520 Ranger. It's a boat I've been running for the last few years. Just a fantastic boat. I've actually run Ranger my whole career and that dates a lot, a lot of years. Never have owned a, another boat other than Ranger. And uh, I'm real fortunate that way because Ranger truly does build the best boat. Makes my job a lot easier. But I want to kind of walk you through some of the features of the Z520 and actually how I rig it. And of course, I've got the 250 Evinrude e E-Tech on the back. I've got the boat equipped with two power poles. On the back of it, Ranger's got a ladder. If you would ever fall in or if you're going to take a swim or whatever, help you get back into the boat with the ladder. You move on up, of course, we've got the fabulous seating in this boat, whether you're talking a butt seat, a regular traditional chair, or the seats that you're actually going to be sitting in. They have got a construction that in rough water takes all the hard knocks out, so it makes it even a more, more of a pleasure to ride in a Ranger boat when you get out there on those days where you got those four and five foot chops. As we get up front, <coughs> of course, I've got it equipped with the 101 Minn Kota and all my electronics are Humminbird Electronics. But the neat feature, and this is a feature that I actually helped Ranger test for several years, underneath the front deck we have a pad underneath the carpet. So when you're standing there on them long days, this takes some of that blowout, really helps save your back a little bit. So that's a neat, neat feature. Got the recessed foot paddle. So we move on up. I always quit mine with a boat rein. So there's a lot of little bells and whistles we put when we personally ring our boat. But I want to take you and show you the compartment, the storage on this boat, because it is fantastic, and kind of give you an idea what I put in the different storage compartments to get that best performance out of the Z520. The back compartment, where our batteries are at, our battery charge, you got the built-in battery charger, four bank. I run four big batteries in there. I never, ever have to worry about uh, obviously running out of juice. I go with the remote oil fill, which I think is a handy little item. Directly behind the seat, you know, the stuff that I'm going to be running with in cold weather, gloves, hats, I keep all that handy along with some tackle boxes where they're real handy to access. So that goes in there. On the other side, this is where I keep my rain suit. All the necessities that you might need on the water, tools, extra prop, helmet, boots for when it's raining, additive, the U2 for the live wells, an emergency uh, kit in there with bandages, etc. flares. They've got a little side compartment up under here where a lot of that stuff can be put out of the way. So it's very, very handy. In the center, between the seats, we've got a little box here that stays nice and dry where I keep my, my sunscreen. Stuff that I'm going to use that I need to get to in a hurry is all right there. The council, very well done. Of course, Ranger's got the push button start where you can put your combination in, etc. Awesome, awesome deal there. When you hit that button, that avenue is going to fire up just a dynamite rig. The one thing that we didn't cover back here is the live well system. They've got all the live well spacing that you would ever need for two anglers to keep five fish lemons. I have mine installed with an oxygenator system in there to make it easier to actually keep the fish alive in hot weather. I recommend that for everybody. It's a nice added feature that you can put in. Something new this year that we've actually put on the step up there's little slots to keep your tools that you use, like a needle nose and a scissors, right at your fingertips. Very handy, out of the road. In the center compartment, this is where I'll keep my life jackets and some other tackle that I want real handy. I'll keep, you know, anything that I need to be able to access in a hurry, I put here so I don't have to bother anybody that's in the back of the boat. So. Life jackets, things like that, that I'm going to take out as I launch the boat. This is where all that equipment's at. The rod locker, as you can see, it's got individual compartments, all the room in the world to put 20 rods if you really need to get in, get that many in there. But slide them in and out, no problem. Totally carpeted, very, very friendly on equipment. All right, in front of the dash, You've got a big cooler, 
which I don't know how they build this thing where it'll hold ice that long, but a fabulous cooler system for your drinks. And in front of this, you've got another storage system for got your lights in there and additional tackle. And that's kind of how I set mine up. And everybody's got their own preference on what they put in which compartment. But I'll say one thing about the Z520. You cannot load it wrong. This boat has more lift. Uh, it just balances terrific. I do a lot of filming of TV shows. And one thing, all the cameramen always say, they've never been in a boat that is more stable than what the Z520 is. And I think that really illustrates how great a boat this is. If you want a fabulous boat, take my word for it. The Z520 Ranger is as good as it gets.